Introduction. Hey, Yankita. We know that the cell is the structural and functional unit of life. But do you know what does it actually mean? Yeah, it means a single cell can perform all basic functions of life. Example: movement, intake of food, and respiratory gases, respiration, and excretion. Yes, you're right. So, come, let's start our new chapter: cell, the unit of life. Objectives. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to define the cell, understand the cell theory, know the characters of the cell, understand functional regions of a cell, know the different shapes of the cell, understand different cell sizes. The cell. Cells are the structural and functional unit of all living organisms and are building blocks of the human body. Adult human body contains 75 trillion cells. Each cell type performs specific function. There are 200 cell types in humans. The term cell was first coined by an English microscopist Robert Hooke. In 1665, he discovered cells while looking in a thin slice of cork and called tiny boxes of a honeycomb as the cells. He thought that cells only exist in plants and fungi. Antony van Leeuwenhoek was the first to observe free cells like bacteria, protozoa, red blood cells and sperms etc using his homemade microscope. He called them animalcules. He also observed blood cells from fish, birds, frogs, dogs and humans. Therefore, it was known that cells are found in animals as well as plants. The Cell Theory In 1838, Matthias Schleiden a German botanist examined a large number of plants and observed that plants are composed of different kinds of cells which form the tissues of the plant. In 1839, Theodore Schwann, a British zoologist, studied different types of animal cells and reported that cells had a thin outer layer which is today known as the plasma membrane. On the basis of this, Schwann proposed the hypothesis that the bodies of animals and plants are composed of cells and products of cells. He concluded that the presence of cell wall is a unique character of the plant cells. In 1839, Schleiden and Schwann together formulated the cell theory. In 1858, Rudolf Virchow, a German physician, after extensive study of cellular pathology, concluded that cells must arise from pre-existing cells. Modern cell theory contains four statements in addition to the original cell theory. Characteristics of cells Cells are highly complex and organized. They possess a genetic program and the means to use it. They are also capable of producing. They acquire and utilize energy. Even they carry out a variety of chemical reactions and mechanical activities. They are also able to respond to stimuli and self-regulation. Functional Regions of Cells There are three functional regions of cell. Plasma Membrane, Cytoplasm and Nucleus. Plasma Membrane Plasma Membrane is the outermost thin, transparent, elastic and semi-permeable membrane. Cytoplasm 
Cytoplasm is an amorphous and homogeneous colloidal substance present between the plasma membrane and nucleus. Nucleus Nucleus is a membrane bound structure which contains DNA in its chromosomes. Cell shape There are different shapes of cells in various organisms. In multicellular organisms, there are different shapes of cells in different parts of body. Amoeba and leukocytes do not have a fixed shape as they have pseudopodia. Cheek cells are flat. Germ cells are cuboidal. Intestinal cells are columnar. Liver cells are polygonal. Fat cells are rounded. Paramecium is slipper shaped. Hence, egg is oval. Smooth muscles are spindle shaped. Pigment cells, that is, chromatophores, are branched. Muscles or nerve fibers are long thread like. Guard cells of stomata of dicots are bean shaped while of monocots are dumbbell shaped. Cell sizes The size of cells varies greatly in different organisms. The smallest known cells are of pleuropneumonia like organism that is PPLO, Mycoplasma galliceptacum of about 0.1 micrometer size. Largest animal cell is of ostrich egg and measures about 170 by 135 millimeter. Prokaryotic cell size ranges from 1 to 10 micrometer while eukaryotic cell size ranges from 10 to 100 micrometer. In plants, largest cell is of acetabularia green algae which measures about 6 to 10 cm. In human body, most of the cell range between 2 to 3 micrometer, 20 micrometer and 30 micrometer in diameter. Nerve cells is the longest cell in human body, about 3 feet long. Did you know? The term cytology was coined by Hertwig in 1893. Max Schultz in 1861 proposed protoplasma theory. Sachs proposed organismal theory in 1874. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Cells are broadly divided in two types, plant cells and animal cells. Lamarck for the first time stated that living beings are made up of cells. The term protoplasm was coined by Purkinje. Cell theory was put forward by Schladen and Schwann in 1838 to 1839. They were German biologists. An exception to cell theory is virus. The term cell was coined and was first seen by Robert Hooke. The cells discovered in thin sections of cock by Robert Hooke were actually cell walls. Nucleus was discovered by Robert Brown. Virchow proposed cell lineage. Cell always arises from pre-existing cell. He said, Ominous cellulae cellula. The term sarcode was used for living substance of cell by Jordan. Minimum cell size seen under light microscope is 0 0.25 micrometer. Protoplasm is complex colloidal solution and forms 95% of total weight of the body. It is called physical basis of life. An individual has a number of different types of cells was first stated by Dutrochet. 
the cells vary in their shape, size and activities or functions. In unicellular organisms, the cell shape is maintained by tough plasma membrane, example paramecium and exoskeleton. Fixed shape of the cell occurs in most plants and animals. In multicellular organisms, the cell shape depends on its functional adaptations and partly on the surface tension, viscosity of the protoplasm, the mechanical action exerted by adjoining cells and rigidity of the cell membrane. Example, presence of rigid cell wall in plant cells. Thus, cell may have diverse shapes such as polyhedral with 8, 12 or 14 sides, spherical, example, eggs of many animals, spindle shaped, example, smooth muscle fibers, elongated, example, nerve cells, branched, example, chromatophores or pigment cells of skin, discoidal, example, erythrocytes or red blood cells, etc. The size of different cells ranges between broad limits. Some plants and animal cells are visible to the naked eye. Most cells are visible only with the microscope since they are only a few micrometer in diameter. A micrometer is one thousandth of a millimeter. The size of cells varies from the very small cells of bacteria 0.2 to 5 micrometer to the very large eggs of the ostrich 18 centimeter and among plants the largest cell is the ovule of cycas. Some nerve cells of human beings have a meter long tail or axon. Single marine algae Acetabularia measures nearly 10 centimeter in height. Prokaryotic cells usually range between 1 to 10 micrometer. The eukaryotic cells are typically larger, mostly ranging between 10 to 100 micrometer. The size of unicellular organisms is larger than a typical cell of a multicellular organism. Example, amoeba protus is biggest among the unicellular organisms its length being 0.6 mm, that is 60 micrometer. The size of typical cells of multicellular organisms ranges between 20 to 30 micrometer. The smallest cells are those of Mycoplasma galicepticum, an organism intermediate between virus and bacteria. Their size is about 0.1 micrometer.